counting and determining results. After incubating your samples for 30 to 48 hours, remove the plates from the incubator. If there was E. coli or other coliform bacteria in your water sample, you should see small blue to purple and pink to dark red dots on the plate. These are bacteria colonies. You may also notice an unpleasant smell. Before you count the colonies, flip the plates upside down so that you are counting colonies through the bottom of the plate. If you do not flip, you will find that a layer of condensation has most likely formed on the underside of the plate's lid, which will make it difficult to see the colonies. You should also place the plate on top of a white surface, such as a piece of paper, so that you can see the colonies and their colors more clearly. It may be helpful to draw a circle divided into quadrants on a white sheet of paper that you can place under your plate. This will help you establish a starting point from which you can count. For instance, begin counting in the quadrant at the top right and continue counting each quadrant until you have counted the entire plate. If bacteria colonies are too dense, it is possible to estimate the number of colonies by counting a one-fourth or one-eighth section of the plate and then multiplying the number of colonies per that section by four or eight, respectively, to get a total CFU estimate or colony forming unit estimate for that plate. If the colonies appear as a ring around the edge of the plate or as one large blob, count this as one colony. Check for colonies on the edges of the plate. Here, it looks like the colony was cut in half, but if you look at the plate from the side, you can see that it is a whole colony. Also check for colonies that could be hiding underneath the tape that we used for incubating. Do not count very small or pinpoint colonies. As a reference, for a colony to be large enough to count, it should be no smaller than the head of a ballpoint pen, or at least as large as a period typed in a 12-point font. These are just a few examples of pinpoint colonies that are too small to count. Also refrain from counting brown, yellow, or white colonies as seen here in circles. Now, let's practice counting E. coli colonies. Here, we have three plates from a site we just tested. We will count each one to determine how many E. coli colonies are present on each plate. Count all of the blue to purple colonies on each plate as E. coli. We will start with plate one. To help make counting a little easier, we will put our plate on a white piece of paper with quadrants drawn on it, dividing the plate into four sections. Start counting the blue to dark purple dots in the top right quadrant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There are eleven colonies in this quadrant. Let's continue to count the E. coli colonies in each quadrant, moving clockwise from the top right. We will continue our count on the top right of the screen. Twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. We have 27 E. coli colonies on this plate. Let's move to the second plate. How many E. coli colonies do you count? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are twelve E. coli colonies on this plate. Now let's count the final plate. How many E. coli do you see on this plate? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. There are twenty-one E. coli colonies on this plate. Record the number of E. coli for the plate in the corresponding section in your data form. 
we'll record 27 for plate 1, 12 for plate 2, and 21 for plate 3. If the number of E. coli colonies exceeds 200 per plate, report as 250. Write in the comments of your data form that E. coli were too numerous to count, abbreviated as TNTC. Let's practice counting other coliform colonies on our three plates. We will count all of the pink to dark red colonies on each plate as other coliforms. Remember not to count the very small pinpoint colonies. We will start back at plate one. There are a lot of colonies on this plate, so let's bring in the quadrants. We will start our count the same way we did for counting E. coli colonies in the top right quadrant of the plate, and then move clockwise. We will keep the plate count on the top right of the screen. One, two, three, four, five colonies in this first quadrant. We'll continue to count the rest of the plate. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Other coliform colonies on this plate. Let's continue and count the other two plates. I'll give you a second to look at the top right quadrant to try to count how many other coliforms you see in this quadrant. Now let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight other coliforms colonies on this quadrant. Before we move to the next quadrant to count, let's take a look at the colonies that we considered too small or the pinpoint colonies that we did not count. You can see several very small freckle-sized colonies scattered around the quadrant. These would be much smaller than the head of a ballpoint pen and would be too small for us to include in our count. A rule of thumb you can use to decide which colonies to include in your count is to look for colonies that have a darker colored center surrounded by a lighter halo. This colony is a great example. Some of the other colonies I did not include in my count are the yellow brown colonies that we mentioned before. Let's continue to count the rest of the plate. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. There are 31 other coliform colonies on this plate. Finally, our last plate. I'll give you a few seconds to count the other coliform colonies on this plate. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. There are 19 other coliform colonies on this plate. Record the number of other coliforms colonies for each plate in the corresponding sections of the data form. For plate one, we have 28. For plate two, we have 31. And for plate three, we have 19. If the number of other coliform colonies exceeds 200 per plate, report as 250. Write in the comments of your data form that other coliforms were too numerous to count, abbreviated as TNTC.